Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Where do you feel the breathing in the body right now? Focus your attention right there. And then try to stay right there, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. And give the breath your full attention. You're training the mind here. The mind needs mindfulness, it needs alertness, whatever its tasks in the world. And all too often our mindfulness is very short. We can remember things for a little while and then we forget that we remember them and forget again. And our alertness is all over the place. Sometimes you're alert to this, sometimes you're alert to that, sometimes you're zoned out. And yet if you're going to accomplish anything in life, you have to keep in mind what you want and how it's best done. And then be alert to what you're actually doing to see if it fits in with what you know what's good. And if you come across something new, you're, you're alert to see if it's good or not, so you can add it to your store of knowledge. These are really basic skills, yet for most of us they're very undeveloped. So one of the purposes of meditation is to develop them. Now, from the Buddhist point of view, the best use of these skills is to follow the path that leads to the end of suffering. But you can use them for all kinds of skills, all kinds of tasks that you have in the course of the day. So take some time to train the mind in this. It's like when you're learning the piano. You have to spend a lot of time learning the scales. And it may seem very boring. But then there are pieces of music where if a really well-played scale is played perfectly, it adds to the music. It's a good foundation. So take care of the foundations. Stay with the breath. Try to keep, make the breath comfortable if you can. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what breathing feels best for the body right now. And you'll notice that the needs of the body will change, which is another reason why you have to be on top of things, to be really alert. To notice that a rhythm of breathing that felt good for a while suddenly doesn't feel so good anymore. Well, you can change. The desire to do this well, this is a third quality. It's called ardency. You give your best. And when you give your best, you get good things back. If you don't give your best, well, you don't learn very much. You learn by committing yourself to doing, doing it well, and then observing. Here's your best effort, and does it measure up? If it doesn't measure up, okay, what can you do to change? That's when you really learn. If you put in a half-hearted effort and it doesn't measure up, a part of you will say, well, it's because I didn't try all that hard. And you don't really know what a really good job would be. So when you focus on the breath, remember you're training your whole mind in some very basic skills. You want to make sure you have those skills down. Create a sense of well-being in the body, well-being in the mind. Simply by the way you breathe, by the way you pay attention to the breath. It's little things like this that can make a huge difference in life. Little skills like this that can be transferred to other skills as well. So give it your full attention. As the Buddha said, giving a task your full attention is one of the ways of succeeding at the task. Because you're here. All of you is here. And all of you can observe, and all of you can do the work.